unit keeps freezing up. Disconnect is pulled, unit's still running downstairs. Contactor is engaged, as you can see. I'm gonna remove one of these 24 volt wires from the coil. So the contactor is not our problem. It's gonna have to wait for this to thaw out. I've got my probes hooked up, taking my initial reading. And this way I can get a good piece of the puzzle on what's going on. Looking at this, the actual subcooling of 16, 17 degrees tells me that the system is not undercharged. It has plenty of refrigerant, maybe even more than it should have. The actual superheat is 14 degrees. That tells me that the TXV is doing its job. I don't think this is going to be a TXV issue. Our suction pressure vapor 95 psi with a 27 saturation is right in the freezing zone and this is why it's freezing up we have low suction pressure one probe set up on the return grill the filter is clean i need to clean that grill off other one i've got shoved in the supply vent next thing i'm going to check is the return air temperature versus the closest supply register temperature because of that very high temperature drop or supply temp versus return temp of 30 degrees we're going to go up in this panel this is an airflow issue i'm ruling out the txv as a possible cause of this unit not working oh look at that 15 uf on this blower motor that might take that i highly doubt it though i'm going to use this kill switch Turn off the power to the kill switch. I stand corrected. It does use a 15 UF. Maybe it's weak. And I'm gonna set this to microfarads, MFD. Okay, the capacitor's good. That's not the problem. Let's go ahead. Actually, look at that. 15 perfect. Let's take these off. Let's check this blower wheel. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, I'm not going to rule out the wheel causing all of this, although I think it's less likely. Someone's been in here messing with this before. Here's our wires coming in and okay, that's hooked up. We've got high speed hooked up. That's correct. Gonna do a amp draw on the high speed wire for the blower motor. One point Three. 3.6 that's the max it's very low okay since this is a PSC motor we don't want amps that low we're gonna go ahead and pull and clean these wheels I'm gonna remove the rest of this panel to make it easier Here's my wires for my blower. And I'm gonna use my camera clamp to get those wires out of the way. And there should be two screws holding it in on this side, but there's only one. two on this side. Now there's the Allen wrench slot. 
532 is what you need. And when you're breaking this Allen key, it's smart to wear. When you're breaking the screw loose, it's smart to wear gloves because of these sharp edges. Or use a rag. Use something. Use some kind of protection. I've cut myself too many times on these. And make sure that the orientation goes back the same way as you remove it. I mean, it's bad, but is it bad enough to cause those readings? We'll find out, huh? not gonna pull out easy I'm get right in that hole WD-40 just let that soak in there and then we can hit up the back side I'm gonna hit that up too all oh, that's soaking can at least start cleaning this wheel off. She still ain't coming off, so I'm gonna try this uh, fan puller. It should work with the blower motors too. We'll find out. Just tightening down all of these. Locking it. You want these nice and tight. And you want to spray it before you thread it down. And pulled off with these. Almost too easy. Alright, got this wheel all washed up. I don't know how this happened, but someone messed with this that didn't know what they're doing. If you look at this gap, this squirrel cage is way too small. Way too small. So someone screwed something up. There's also a screw missing right here. And here. And here. So someone screwed this up before. I don't think this is gonna work when I put it back together. I should have caught this earlier. Wait a minute. So this is supposed to, not only are these wheels too small, I think the whole issue was, see that's in the right way because the grooves are going with the arrow. And if you ever get confused, just spin it the direction the motor says it's gonna go and you should feel a bunch of air in your face. So I think these wheels were they're the wrong ones and they were installed upside down so they weren't moving enough air. So we want the grooves, the top grooves going with the direction of the motor. And yeah, that's pretty typical because on these first codes you got one side where the set screw is on the inside and the other side, the set screw, set screws on the inside on both. And that's not how it was. So let's put all this back together the right way. I put the, put the missing screws in. Now just slap this back up, see if she works.
I already feel a lot more air blowing on my head from this vent. And let's take our amp draw now. Two point two, two point three. A lot better than what we were getting before. That's what our Delta T looks like now. And yes, I'm gonna clean that grill. Now that we uh, flipped our blower wheel and cleaned it, let's take a look at what we're reading. We are way overcharged. Not way overcharged, maybe like a pound or so. But I bet um, what happened, what I think happened, someone came up, charged the unit thinking it was low, realized the suction wasn't going up. The suction wasn't going up because the airflow was crap and it still wasn't cooling and it was freezing up. So that's why we got a uh, check the airflow. This was a tricky one though. When someone comes back, when you're coming behind someone and you don't know it, that did a repair that you don't know about, um, tricky things like that can happen. Just the direction of the fan blades can really screw with you. So I'm gonna go grab the recovery machine and take a couple pounds out. That's our pressures and temperatures after pulling out about one pound of refrigerant. And our vapor pressure here in this case is very low because it's 65 down in the unit. I actually had to run down in the unit and turn it down more because it um, satisfied temp so fast. If you learn anything from today's episode, it's the ABCs, airflow before charge. And I just felt a raindrop, so it's time to get off this roof. Thanks for watching. My name's Dave, and this fix is done.